Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Highway Academy. Uh, welcome to this lesson. These next set of lessons are going to be talking about uh, transport modeling. Uh, transport modeling is something I think one needs as to be a very good engineer. You need to have at least a good understanding. And I'm not going to go so much into transport planning because there's so many videos on YouTube that would describe that. My main purpose is just show you how to use IM. Uh, IM is a macro modeling software and it just highlights uh, the different attributes of what we need to create. So without wasting so much time, I'm going to just kick off the lesson by just showing you how to use IM and the different things you should consider in this case. Okay. So now here I have IM open on my computer. We're using version, we're using version 4.5. And for this case, we're having a license that's an E8. Is it E8 or E12? I think E12. E12 license. And just like any other software, so you have the menu, file menu, which has new, closed projects, project settings. You can save as PDF, save as an image. You have the edit menu, the view menu. All oh, these are not yet open because I haven't. But let's say we decide, let's first start by creating a new project. You're going to name it. We don't want to create a new IM window. I mean, that would just create a new window, as you can see here, in case you want to open up another, another project. So let's just create a new project, and what should we name it? So we're going to name this uh, trial, trial for the component of expressway, and I'm going to put it in documents. Uh, in my country, we have left-hand traffic. So uh, I've changed this to left-hand traffic drive and I don't want to change the file name. The file name we use for in is .emp. And now it's going to ask create demonstration and uh, create import existing data. So this is the next step we're talking about. Do you want to create existing data? Do you want to bring in a strategic model and a city project? Do you want to create an empty project and create an empty project? I, I want to start from scratch. Okay, you can import in an existing database, import in project settings. So we're going to begin from scratch for this. And it's going to look at what should we do? Do we need an 11 IM license? So I told you here we have an IM license that's 12. That means we can have a five scenarios, transit vehicles are 10, we can have 10 matrices, this is the most important part. The zones and centroids, we can have 3,000, and the nodes are around, what's this? I think they're around 100,000 zones. 100,000 zones, nodes. Okay, so this depends on the license you have, okay? And now we can name the project, we can name the database, database initialization. So I'm going to name this KE text encoding, I'm um, okay with all that. And it's going to ask me for a special reference. I'm going to select something in my country, Uganda. And this is what I think I like, I like about the new, when you own subscription for most of these modeling softwares, uh, your country I think will be there. So we're going to just use WGS84 because uh, that's something, okay, let me just type in 36N. It's going to bring up a lot of coordinate systems. So WGS8436N, I don't want to use ARC1960. So something along the lines. And it's it's going to be like, oh, okay, that's very good. Okay, so we have the coordinate system set. If you have the coordinate system set, we're good to go. And we're going to just have a summary of everything we put in. We can always change it later on. And now it's going to create... Um, a new project which is going to have all the details and everything that we are creating 